Breakfast Club and welcome back to another hearty helping of Breakfast at Tracy's. Our hope at breakfast is that you will be encouraged in your faith, absolutely amazed at the beauty of the gospel message and the love Jesus has for you. These days we are exploring a topic that Jesus spoke a lot about, money. And as I've mentioned before, the problem with money in church circles and really outside church circles is that almost no one thinks they have a problem with money. And we think that the only people who have problems with money are people who have more than we do. Greedy misers. In that case, the poorest would think that everyone had a problem with money except for them. Yet we are discovering that the Bible says having money is not the issue. It is our attitude towards money that is the issue. And that it can be a problem for both the rich or the poor or even the middle class. Today we turn to a song of David. A song he wrote for the dedication of the temple. A song he wrote in faith that one day his son would build a temple. David died long before that particular temple was complete. But now David's life had many ups and downs and he started off uh, on his dad's farm tending sheep as the runt of the litter. He found himself suddenly famous after his battle with Goliath. But then he ended up hunted by a jealous King Saul. At times David had nothing. But when he wrote today's song, he was king. And he had more wealth than he probably ever fathomed having. Shouldn't he be happy? Isn't he living the dream? Not quite. In a moment of real honesty, he gives us a window into his life. He says, When I was prosperous, I said, nothing could stop me now. Your favor, O oh Lord, made me as secure as a mountain. Then you turned away from me, and I was shattered. I've been reading the sermons of a pastor in New York. I started with his messages from the end of the 80s through the 90s, and now I'm into the early 2000s. One of the things I was interested in was how this pastor from New York handled 9-11. My heart went out to him as he was trying to comfort and calm a grieving and scared congregation following tragedy. One of the things that he admitted was that 9-11 broke him and them out of a sense of comfort and complacency. He admitted that he thought his faith was adequate for the task of life, but then two planes flew into the World Trade Center and his sense of safety was shattered. Money contributes to that delusion. See, money can make us feel safe, like it did with David, like nothing can stop us. He saw his wealth as God's blessing, his grace, his approval, and it helped him feel secure. Secure like a mountain, he said. But then comes the telling line. Then you turned away from me, and I was shattered. Suddenly, even though he still had money, it didn't matter. Money does have advantages, don't get me wrong, but it cannot provide ultimate security. This exposed that it is the presence of God that is our true security, our well-being, our shalom, not money. The good news of the gospel says that Jesus faced the abandonment, the turning away of his father for our sake, so that you and I, Breakfast Club, would never have to face the indescribable emptiness of existing without God's greatest favor relationship. Right now, even unbelievers receive some grace, sunshine, food, warmth, laughter, just not saving grace, not relational grace that only comes through Jesus. Only saving grace makes us ultimately secure, a security that money alone can never buy, a security that extends into eternity. May your sense of security come from knowing the Lord and not your wealth, so that you will be best prepared for whatever comes in your life. Let's pray. Our Father, you are our security. You are the mountain of safety we reside in. It is your saving grace through Jesus that makes us 
unshakable, no matter how much or how little money we have. Thank you, Jesus, for facing condemnation for our sakes. And thank you that your grace gives us your perfect record to stand on so that we never have to be insecure. Amen. All right, start of your week, Breakfast Club. Here's your question to, to get going on this Monday. Would it make you feel more insecure if you lost all your money or if the Lord turned away from you? Something to think about for the rest of your day. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you tomorrow as we look at the challenge of death. We'll see you then. Take care, everyone.